Hello everyone, it's the Mongoose, and today we are doing a bonus manga haul for the month. We're gonna head down to Newberry Comics today and see what manga they have. It's holiday break for me, so I figured, why not blow some money on some manga? I mean, when is it ever a bad time to blow money on manga? But if you guys aren't holiday break, I hope that you're enjoying it as well. And the great thing about this Newberry Comics is that it's actually located in a mall, well, that's not the great thing about it. The great thing about it is that the mall is connected to a Barnes & Noble, which also has Newberry Comics in the mall as well. So we kind of have to walk through Barnes & Noble to get to Newberry Comics. So it wouldn't hurt to take a peek in the manga section of Barnes & Noble as well, right? Like, couldn't hurt anybody, I don't think. So we'll probably take a peek at this Barnes & Noble and see what they have. Honestly, I'm so excited to just go see some manga in person. We haven't been to a physical store this month yet because we did a Right Stuff haul earlier. So let's go ahead and head down there i'm so excited to see what they have i'm hoping that they have a good selection for me to share with you guys and hopefully we can get some good pickups Okay, so as we check out the bestseller and new release section, I just want to quickly say that for some reason I was super nervous filming today. My anxiety was through the roof, so I apologize in advance if the camera work isn't super great. But yeah, Newberry Comics was a breath of fresh air. They had so many titles that I have not seen yet, and I was just so excited to be in there. Like this one, I'll give it my all tomorrow. I really was attracted by the artwork. It was very unique in my opinion, something that I haven't seen yet, and it's definitely something I'd be interested in reading. Also, Yuzu the pet vet just looked absolutely adorable. She looked like a nice, lighthearted read. Now, I saw Goodnight Pun Pun Volume 2. I've already picked up the first volume, so I grabbed this immediately and just held on to it for the rest of the haul. Now, moving on to their main section Ton of Assassination Classroom. They had Angel Sanctuary, which the artwork looked really cool in my opinion. And I was trying to branch out or do my best to branch out and like maybe pick up a few volumes or genres that I haven't read yet. I saw Bacchano and I've heard great things about Bacchano. So this was an instant pickup for me. They had Bakuman, which I really, really want to read, but unfortunately no volume one. A ton of Beastars ton of berserk. As we're going through the section here, there are actually a ton of titles that I hadn't seen yet, so let me know if I missed any good reads because I'd love to go back and check them out for sure. They actually had the Attack on Titan Colossal Editions. Now these are something that I'm really interested in collecting. The Kane Saga. Once again, artwork that I really liked. The story seemed interesting as well. Still No Chainsaw Man Volume 1. Now they had Corpse Party Volume 1. The title grabbed me. I feel like I've heard stuff about Corpse Party, but I never looked into it. So I didn't grab it today, but it's definitely something that I'd be interested in checking out. Now City Volume 1. The artwork was so cool in my opinion. The cover art was awesome as well. It was really interesting, something that I haven't seen before. Now guys, let me know if you have any recommendations of where else I can go look for manga because this was an absolute blast seeing all these new titles. I just had an overall great time coming here and seeing all the variety to share with you guys. Danganronpa, this cover art was absolutely beautiful. I noticed they had a lot of older manga here. It was nice to see such a wide variety between the older stuff and also some newer stuff as well. Much of Jujutsu Kaisen. So if you guys are wondering, Newberry Comics is actually a store that's only located in the Northeast, but they're really fun to check out if you've never been to one. The King's Beast. I don't know, I was just picking up a lot of titles that I wouldn't normally pick up today, just to see if anything would grab my attention. Komomo Confissory. Now that looked like a really cool story and a nice lovey-dovey one as well. I think the hardest part of today was deciding what manga to buy and what manga I had to put back. I was having such a difficult time choosing between what I wanted to buy. There were just so many titles in there that I really wanted to pick up, but I guess that's never a bad problem. If you guys have seen, they had a bunch of posters saying that everything was buy one get one 50% off, so can't really pass up on a good manga sale.
Now Monster, I've heard great things about Monster, but they only had volumes four through eight, unfortunately. I've been having trouble finding the first volume. Ton of Vagabond, I know a lot of you recommended that to me, and Noragami as well. Have to pick both of those up at some point. Ton of Naruto, some My Little Pony. I had a lot of One Piece, but unfortunately no volume four, five, and six, which is the next one that I need. Some more Vagabond. Pluto. That really caught my eye just based on the spine. It was absolutely gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about it. Otherwise I probably would have picked it up. Now this, Platinum N Volume 1. I have been searching far and wide for Volume 1 of Platinum N. That's an instant pickup. Ranma one half. I was interested in picking this up. Unfortunately, I didn't, but from what I understand, it's just an OG manga, so I feel like I have to add it to the collection at some point. Now, Say I Love You. This is another manga that I kind of forgot about. I just got so lost in all the other ones. That's one that I probably will go back to at some point. A stupid love comedy. I mean, the title says it all. I, I didn't pick it up because I wasn't sure if that was the whole story or if there were other volumes to it, so I didn't grab it, but if that is, someone let me know because I'll definitely grab that. Now they had a silent voice box set and to this day, I am still regretting not picking it up. I might go back and pick it up because a silent voice is so good and I really want to add that to the collection. I don't know about you guys, but I was so happy to be looking at manga physically in person. It's just such a peaceful activity that I look forward to every single month. Val Love. The neon lights looked really cool in my opinion. Now, Wodakoi, so many of you have told me to read Wodakoi, so you know I had to pick it up. I'm glad that I finally came across it and super happy to add it to the collection. Now, unicorns aren't horny. I don't know what this is about, but it's intriguing me based on the title. Welcome to the ballroom. Not gonna lie, I forgot about this one as well. It's a common theme today, but it seemed like an interesting story about ballroom dancing. A manga that I've really been wanting to get my hands on is when will Ayamu make his move? Unfortunately, they didn't have it, but I'm still going to be on the hunt for that. I had a lot of box sets here, which were definitely calling my name. So more recommended and bestsellers. Dengeki Daisy looked really interesting. I like the artwork. Bunch of Dragon Ball. Doubt. The title is kind of simple, but it intrigued me enough to take a peek. Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nakatoro is one that I still need to pick up. Now, Fangirl. This just looked really cool, the artwork on the cover. Everyone's getting married seemed like, I'm assuming, a love story. Happiness down. This caught me by surprise. <laughs> when I saw the cover, I was like, whoa, this does not match the title, but definitely made me want to pick it up. I was between this one and another title that I was going back and forth on for a bit. Now they had all of Goodnight Pun Pun, which I was very surprised about. Heard that it's hard to get, and I'm probably gonna go back and finish off the series eventually, just because I'm nervous that I'm never gonna be able to find them again. Now 
Idle Dreams. Now this manga actually had a super interesting premise to it. It's something that I definitely want to pick up in the future. Hide and Closer. I don't know if this was like a play on Jekyll and Hyde or something, but I wanted to kind of find out what was going on with that teddy bear. Ton of JoJo's, I still gotta pick up JoJo. But I think I made up my mind for today, so let me show you guys what I picked up. Okay, that was so incredibly difficult to not buy like so many mangas in there. They were running buy one, get one 50% off if you guys saw the sign. And I had such a hard time picking and choosing between the ones that I wanted. I went through Barnes and Noble and I can show you guys a little footage, but I was grabbing more manga and I was like, I got to put these back because I was going over my budget and I was like, I cannot go over my budget. I want to make sure that I keep my monthly budget in line, but oh my gosh, like I was getting, it was getting out of hand. I had to, I had to reel my back in and put the manga back on the shelf maybe we'll go to that Barnes and Noble for our next haul just because they did have a different selection than the Barnes and Noble that I'm used to going to so I think it could be nice to switch it up because different Barnes and Noble have different stock but let me show you what we got today from Newberry Comics thankfully they were running that deal buy one get one 50% off otherwise I was going way over my budget and if you guys saw they had a lot of titles that I have definitely never seen so I was really excited because there was just so much to choose from that I'm not used to seeing so let's just pick out of the bag and first one is City Volume 1. This is from the creator of Nichiju and it's supposed to be like a slapstick comedy type series and from reading the synopsis it just seems like a, a silly story about a broke college kid and also a girl who is in debt and I'm assuming that they come together. I honestly can't really tell from the synopsis. It's kind of vague but it seems like a fun silly story and I really like the cover and the artwork inside was a little bit different than what I'm used to so I wanted to switch up styles a little bit so I'm really excited to read City Volume 1. So next up we have Night on Ice. Now this is actually from the mangaka of Wodokoi and Princess Jellyfish. A lot of you recommended Wodokoi to me so I figured Night on Ice would be a good volume to pick up as well. Basically it revolves around Kokoro, the main character right here, who's an international figure skating star. But he only does well when his friend is there to recite an anime spell and it turns out that he's an otaku and a hopeless romantic. So basically the story is going to come together and I'm assuming a romantic way but also a drama side as well because it turns out that he has to go to a skating competition away from where his friend can be and she's not going to be there to support him so i'm excited to read it very eager to get into it especially because i've heard so many great things about wodakoi and speaking of wodakoi we actually picked up wodakoi volume one and i think volume two as well so we've got wodakoi a lot of you told me to get it it seems like a great rom-com so honestly there's not much else to say you guys know i love my rom-coms you guys know i love my romance wodakoi seems right up my alley it's about an otaku as well so it fits right in i'm probably going to end up reading this first after i'm done reading what i'm currently reading so we picked up volumes one and i guess volumes two technically of wodakoi okay so next up we have Sankarea volume one now this was a story that seemed very interesting i don't think i picked it up in the hall but i was browsing afterwards and it seems like a very interesting romance story but basically it's about the main character right here who we can't really see named chiro and he has an unusual obsession with zombies but the obsession with zombies is actually he feels sympathy for them instead of the actual survivors in the zombie apocalypse kind of a weird concept but basically what happens is he decides that he's going to concoct some sort of potion to resurrect a pet that passes away and then what ends up happening is he comes in contact with a popular girl at his school who he tries to convince to be a test subject for the resurrection potion as well so i think what's going to end up happening is it's going to be like an interesting romantic comedy between a zombie and a human but i'm interested to see what unfolds in this story all right next up we have volume one of platinum end now honestly all i know is that this is by the creator of death note i've heard that the anime is like Eh? but I was really excited to pick up Platinum N Volume 1 because I can't find it like literally anywhere. It's always like Volume 7 and above. So I saw they had one and I just grabbed it right away. I held it in my hands the whole time. But these volumes are absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like shine on them. So really like the main reason I wanted to collect these volumes was because of how gorgeous they are. And honestly, I'm excited to jump into it as well. You guys know I love jumping into things without knowing much about them. And Platinum End is by the creator of Death Note. Everyone loves Death Notes. 
So honestly, I'm excited to read it just based on that fact alone. So we've got Platinum End Volume 1. Super, super excited to add this to the collection. Next up, we have Volume 1 of Bacchano. Now, I've heard that Bacchano is a great read so i saw volume one there and i haven't seen it anywhere else so i picked it up right away they also had volumes two and three so if i really like bacchino i'm gonna go back and grab them but bacchino is essentially about an italian crime mafia in the 1920s new york and i'm assuming it's gonna be like action based with like different crime syndicates rivaling each other honestly i haven't looked too much into bacchino i've just heard that it's incredible and it seems like an interesting story and it's definitely out of the realm of stuff that i usually pick up and i want to try and expand my genres a little bit so i'm excited to get into Bacchino. I've heard great things and really what more can we ask for? So Bacchino volume one. All right, next up we have Goodnight Pun Pun Volume 2. Now they actually had volumes 1 through 7 there. And I thought that Goodnight Pun Pun was hard to come across. I'm assuming that they reprinted it or something. So I picked up Volume 2 just to add to the collection. I haven't even read Volume 1, but I want to slowly collect Goodnight Pun Pun. One, because I love how it looks in descending order on a shelf. And two, because I've heard great things. You guys have said that it's a heavy read. I'm a little bit scared to get into it, but I'm slowly collecting it. And I might just read it fully through once I get all of the volumes. But but we picked up number two. Okay, now next up we have Unicorns Aren't Horny, volume one. Now, honestly, I picked this up purely because of the title. Like, it attracted me just based on that. The artwork is very interesting too. It's artwork that I haven't seen yet either. I don't want to like pull up a lewd panel, but yeah like it, it's very interesting it's different art style and basically what it's about is emiko who is a 20 something year old virgin who lives with uni the unicorn and basically emiko is just really looking for romance and uni apparently is into her honestly i don't really know it seems like an insane ridiculous possible love story comedy i'm interested to see what happens in this because it seems absolutely absurd so yeah we got unicorns aren't horny volume one all right so we have two mangas left and the next one is is Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight. Now what the story is about is Hinana on the front cover is really, really good at school. She basically only focuses on her studies and doing well in life. And in school, she never focuses on the romantic aspect of her life. But apparently she has a secret where she really wants to have a fairy tale romance story in her high school years. So one day, apparently a celebrity comes through her town and they end up meeting. And I guess what unfolds from what the synopsis is saying is like, like a really zany romantic kind of weird quirky story so it really interested me because it seemed like a fairy tale romance combined with like a kind of ridiculous comedy and i'm into both of those so kiss me at the stroke of midnight volume one all right and last but not least in the hall is happy sugar life volume one now what caught my eye about this manga was the cover it's absolutely gorgeous in my opinion and the spine as well so i picked it up for that reason alone i love having beautiful mangas in my collection sometimes simple is good but this is is absolutely gorgeous i love the color scheme and quite honestly the synopsis is so brief that it intrigued me enough to make me buy it but also gave me nothing to go off of so basically i'll literally read it it's like two sentences lies crime this must be what love is theft this is what she thought murder in order to protect this feeling anything goes she would do anything to be with her so it seems like a love story that can get a little bit dark which i'm definitely into so happy sugar life which the title doesn't really seem to line up with the synopsis, but that's what interested me as well. So we've got 10 volumes added to the collection. Oh my gosh, Newberry Comics, absolutely great deal. So happy that I was able to come in on a day when they had a deal like that. And we've got some great pickups, I think. Let me know what you guys thought. And let me know if I missed any amazing mangas in there because there's a lot of mangas that I saw that I didn't really recognize. So if I missed anything that's like rare or a really good read, let me know because I'll definitely go back and pick it up. Our next video will be a review because we've done two hauls this month so i've got a lot to read and talk about and cover for you guys i hope that you enjoyed today's video i hope that you enjoy your holiday break if you're on one for work or school or whatever it may be and i hope that you enjoy whatever you're currently reading or any recent pickups that you have had i will see you all next time